Hello everyone, this is Darko. I'm back with another video. Today is August 1st, and this is also known as National Spider-Man Day. Yes, this is the day when Spider-Man got created. I still remember my first childhood memory of this. I was five years old and with a babysitter. It was the Sam Raimi movies from Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 back to back. And I did not understand it. But when I watched those movies, I felt that it was just epic. In Spider-Man 1, I just understood the plot at five years old. It's a simple concept that even a kid could understand. A mutant spider just bites Peter Parker and turns into Spider-Man. And the Green Goblin actually scared me as a kid. I literally got terrified just looking at that mask. Even as an adult, it could scare you. But it was just so satisfying and epic seeing... Spider-Man just come swinging out of nowhere, kicking the Green Goblin off his glider while he falls. Oh, that was just an epic moment. In Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock was just so cool. I don't know. Those were cool. That was a cool design with his, you know, robotic tentacles. And the fight scene, well, they are uh, they're, they're falling off the building. They're still fighting. And even the subway cart, oh, that was epic. And then in Spider-Man 3, if the Green Goblin, no, not even this one. not He's not compared to Venom in the third. Venom was terrifying. And Sandman? Okay, that that was so creative of Sandman. Uh, uh, I like I like seeing him actually having a backstory. That's actually kind of interesting. Yes, it's not as good as one and two, and people say that the dance scene and the edginess is a bit too much. I'm like. Okay, maybe I can understand the dancing, but we all went through that emo teen phase, like, you know, being dark and edgy. Like, that's so relatable. But yeah, that's pretty much my experience with those movies. And I remember watching the cartoon with all the villains. Probably the thing I remember is that Instead of Green Goblin, it's Hot Goblin. Hob Goblin. And then Green Goblin comes. That's the only thing they changed in the cartoon. Pretty much the rest. Like Kingpin, Cra Craven, and all those other bad guys. The Rhino. Shock. Shocker. Vulture. All of those are still... Kingpin... All of those are still the same, same. But anyway, I think that's all I can say. And I hope soon I can also play that those two Spider-Man games. The original and the one that's coming for the PS5. Spider-Man Miles Morales. But anyway, that's all for today. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Darko out. Peace.